Hi, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today I am going to discuss the definite integral. The question is integral 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of x dx. So let's take the equation is equal to i. Okay, how to start? Right, you know this property of definite integrals uh, which is 0 to a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx okay now we can apply this theory so we can write this 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of now 5 over 2 minus x dx okay integral from 0 to 5 over 2 ln now we know sine 5 over 2 minus x is equal to cosine of x so okay now this is also equal to i now equation 1 and 2 so we can write i plus i is equal to 2i is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of x dx plus 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of cosine of x dx okay now we have two different integrals but boundaries are the same so we can write this like from 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of x plus natural log of cosine of x dx okay now we can use another property of log so we know natural log of a plus natural log of b is equal to natural log of a times b okay according to this we can write 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of x cosine of x dx okay now this term if we multiply by 2 this is same the double angle of sine so we know sine of 2x is equal to sine of x cosine of x times 2 okay now isolate the sine x times cos x so this is equal to sine of 2x over 2 okay now we can write integral from 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of this term is equal to sine of 2x over 2 dx okay now another property you know natural log of a over b is equal to natural log of a minus natural log of b so according to this we can write integral 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of 2x dx minus 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of 2 dx okay now we can write 2 times i is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of 2x dx now we know natural log of 2 is a constant so natural log of 2 now integral from 0 to 5 over 2 dx so we know 
this is equal to x 0 to 5 over 2 okay now 0 to 5 over 2 natural log of sine of 2x dx minus now this is uh, 5 over 2 times ln 2 okay now we want to evaluate this integral so we can use substituting method so we can get 2x is equal to u now differentiate with respect to x so 2 times dx is equal to du and now boundaries are changed so when x approaches to 0 so u approaches to so x is equal to 0 now 0 and when x goes to 5 over 2 so u approaches to now 5 over 2 so 2 get cancelled so 5 okay now we can write this u goes to 0 lower boundary and upper boundary 5 ln sine of u now dx is equal to du over 2 so okay now 5 over 2 times natural log of 2 okay now 1 half is the constant so 1 half now 0 to 5 okay now we can apply another theorem so you know this property from 0 to a fx dx is equal to 0 to a fy dy so now lhs is equal to 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of y dy okay you know definite integral independence of variable so now we can write this natural log of sine of x dx minus phi over 2 ln 2 okay now we can use another property of definite integral so in this property we can change upper boundary so 0 to a f of x dx is equal to now 2 times 0 to upper boundary divided by 2 this is right for under this condition which is f of a minus x is equal to fx now in our problem now if a minus x is equal to we know natural log of sine 5 minus x so we know sine 5 minus x is equal to sine of x so this is equal to fx well now we can use this theory okay now one half times 2 times 0 to now upper boundary divided by 2 natural log of sine of x dx minus phi over 2 times natural log of 2 now to get cancelled okay now 0 to phi over 2 natural log of sin x dx minus phi over 2 times natural log of 2 okay now we know this is equal to i so 2 times i is equal to i minus phi over 2 times natural log of 2 so i is equal to minus phi over 2 times natural log of 2 
okay we are done if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching